Hello there, welcome to my channel. I am Brian Lomax, for those who don't know, uh, but then the channel is called Brian Lomax. I'm assuming you would have understood that right from the get-go. But hey, uh, okay, so th th there's a trend, shall we say, a, a, a thing that bugs me about uh, news media outlets when it comes to reporting a lot of stuff. Things that are kind of classed as newsworthy these days um one such article is this article uh by the daily express it's published on wednesday and it's i'm going to show i'm going to show you in, in just a moment but it's this constant kind of culture war baiting that you know gets people such as myself kind of hyped up and it's it's when they base a whole kind of story a whole article on what is nothing more than a bunch of twitter sphere idiots really um that being said it does raise some interesting kind of points that i would like to touch on so let's get into it uh so as i say the article was in the daily express and it's it's Peter Pan and Wendy Trailer leaves Disney fans furious over casting. So Disney fans are furious right across the board. You know, so many irate Disney fans out there. What this really means is that a few people on Twitter kicked up a bit of a fuss. Um, so yeah, let's have a look. Um, <clears throat> so we've got a new Peter Pan movie coming out. Uh, I, I've never been the biggest fan of anything Peter Pan, really, although it was one of my earliest cinema experiences, seeing the Disney film at theatres with my mum and dad. And I, I do enjoy the film Finding Neverland, uh, but that's because it's more a character-driven study of the man who created it rather than the, the, the story itself of Peter Pan. So, yeah, um, I, you know... I heard the announcement of this film and it didn't really excite me and it's got nothing to do with anything that's in this story it just doesn't excite me because it's Peter Pan uh, and I've never never been that big on Peter Pan so Disney fans were ecstatic when they learned Peter Pan was getting a new remake in the coming months titled Peter Pan and Wendy but things have turned sour some enraged Peter Panatics have sounded off on Twitter because that's the most reliable source of newsworthy material um, over how much they don't like the casting of the new movie. Most notably, Peter is being played by a British youngster, Alexander Maloney, and the fairy, Tinkerbell, is being portrayed by Yara Shahidi. Both of these actors are people of colour in roles previously played by white actors. Right, okay, and look, like, I'm all for calling out woke culture when it is woke, but, I, I, and there is there is an element to this article which I'll get to into in a minute, which which does bug me in the sense that I do feel it's, it's somewhat woke. Uh, however, on this side of things, look, it's been a long, long time coming that we see people on our screens that are not just white. And I don't think you have to be a woke idiot to say that. I think that that's something that has needed balancing out for a long, long time. Uh, you know, it's certainly growing up, when I look at uh, the things I watched, it was essentially a sea of white faces on tv shows and movies and you know so it's that's just something that's always needed balancing out and you look at the story of peter pan there is nothing that is racially specific about that character that says it must be white you know it's it's not like he's a it's not like if you flipped it and you you were making a film about a jamaican rastafarian and you cast a white guy you know that 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 would clearly be there'd be something wrong with that but it, it's nothing like that you know you can't say it's, it's the reverse of that because it isn't there is nothing about the character of peter pan that makes him culturally specific to whiteness 
Uh, you know, it, 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 it's you could stick any colour of skin in that role and it would not change the story. You could tell the exact same story, it wouldn't make a difference. Um, now, obviously, not seen the film, it's not out yet. If at some point they, you know, they, they draw attention to the fact that these are people of colour and they, they talk about their oppression because of their colour, then that might make me kind of roll my eyes a bit, you know? I, I, I'm more inclined to, to side with Morgan Freeman on, on this whole front of racism, which is that if you want it to stop, stop talking about it. But, um, yeah, the fact that they are people of colour makes zero difference to the characters and therefore makes zero difference to me. It's just, it's part of the imbalance or the correction of the imbalance that has been needed for many, many years. Uh, and I, yeah, I think people need to move on from from that. Um, however, here we go. So th th these are the Twitter sphere people that are, that are talking about this. Um, Disney couldn't care less about making new stories with people of colour characters. They just put people of colour people to play white characters. No, that's not a white character, okay? It's it traditionally it's been played by a white person, but it's not a white character. It doesn't have to be a white character. There's nothing culturally specific in re, in the realms of being white to that character. Um, so, and that shows how lazy Disney is, how racist this is. Is it though? Is it racist? Like if 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 they're again not seen the movie, but based purely on the trailer like if there is a white character in there that the people of color in this film kind of degrade because of their whiteness then yes it's racist there's none of that in the trailer this is simply just a character that has traditionally been played by a white person but it doesn't matter if they change the color it, it has no bearing on the story or the character uh how racist is it? How they people of color deserve their own stories? Yeah, people of color do deserve their own stories, but there's no reason that people can't see themselves in the heroes of old. You know, when all the heroes of old have been white or have been portrayed by white because it's pre predominantly made by white people, then is it wrong just to say that? Yeah, we we want some of that, but for you know people of color. Uh, as I say, not culturally specific. The upcoming adaptation also includes a few girls in Peter Pan's crew. Uh, so this this is where I do take issue. Um, now, again, it's a trailer. Don't know how it's going to play out. Don't know how it's going to be pertinent to the overall story. But the fact that this is Disney does make me a little bit worried. Because, if, if, yeah, they do have... A history of late of doing things just for the sake of doing it just for the sake of inclusivity without yeah without really kind of pertaining to the story in any great way uh, shoehorned is, is a lot of stuff with Disney so th th this is the, the this is the primary thing the upcoming adaptation also includes a few girls in Peter Pan's crew the Lost Boys the key's right there, really, isn't it? It's called The Lost Boys. So, yeah, they've got girls in there. Now, if you look at the original story of Peter Pan, you've got Wendy, who, you know, and her, her brothers, sisters, who who taken off to Neverland. And the only other girl that is in Peter Pan's group is Tinkerbell. You know, she's the, she's the feminine kind of input within that group. But she's not even really... She's not a girl in the traditional sense. She's a fairy. So she's not even the same species, technically. Um, but she is the feminine element of that group, The Lost Boys. It's a story about a bunch of young males who haven't learnt to grow up. And it's the introduction of someone like Wendy into that group that causes the dynamics to shift. You get Peter Pan kind of growing an attraction to Wendy and you get a jealousy resulting from that 
from Tinkerbell because until that point she was always the, the, the well the only feminine kind of member of that group essentially so that's a very specific story dynamic that when you rewrite the original story by J.M. Barry when you start saying no this isn't this isn't the Lost Boys we're gonna call them the Lost Boys but it's really kind of the Lost Boys and Girls or maybe even the Lost Boys and Girls who identify as boys which is really where I'm hoping they're not gonna go with this um, but uh, yeah so that to me that's that that's that's a sign of wokeness uh, again not seen the film we don't know how it's going to play out but given Disney's track record given what they're prone to do and given the uh, the push of late to kind of cram this agenda down our throats that gender is fluid and people can be whatever they want to be you you are what you feel you are and all that nonsense um yeah the lost boys kind of doesn't make much sense once you see that it's actually all the sex is just thrown into the pot so that 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 makes me feel a bit yeah that's that's disney up to their current tricks uh one wrote the whole point of wendy and tinkerbell was to include girls in the appeal of peter pan lost boys being girls is just stupid girls were already included in this world yeah i mean i i don't i don't agree that the whole point of wendy and tinkerbell was to include girls i think it was integral to the story in the sense that once you introduce that feminine element you get attractions brewing you get jealousies brewing and it kind of divides the group in many ways and they have to deal with all that in their journey from adolescence to adulthood so it's 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 a very specific point of contention you know the 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 women in the story it's not just something like oh we need to include them because we're being inclusive no it's it's very specific to what's being told about growing up um so yeah uh so yeah that's the article for, for the most part it goes on to say a few other things but again it's this whole idea that <laughs> what people are saying on twitter is somehow newsworthy and also what a few people saying on twitter suddenly becomes what everyone is apparently saying on twitter uh which i don't think is the case it's it's an interesting article to talk about because i again i agree with half of it i don't agree with the other half of it anyway that is basically all i wanted to discuss uh so yeah let me know your thoughts do you think that this this film's peter pan and wendy based off the trailer do you think it looks like disney doing their agenda pushing tactics or are you excited to see the film regardless um do you think it matters that the characters of peter pan and tinkerbell have changed the color of the skin that they have traditionally been played by let me know down in the comment section below uh, do check out my patreon and membership programs so you can find out how to support this channel and what you get in return thank you for watching this video and until next time cracking